Hey guys, as we approach another rotation, I thought I would talk a little bit about what happens to cards that even Jace might see. He sees a tiny bit of modern play. He's not bad in modern. I play him in my blue-white control deck. He does a lot of work there. He's kind of like Snapcaster 5 to 8. Uh, and Snapcaster is one of the best cards in modern, in my opinion. So not a terrible card and definitely see some play modern, but this is what happens to standard price and why most people will lose a considerable chunk of money and already it's too late. It's been too late for probably 120 days for you to get rid of Origins as well as uh, Dragons. Uh, this set, uh, what happens after your cards rotate is it plummets in price. It's not uncommon to see a card lose 66 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent of its value when it rotates outside of standard because rotation happens more frequently and it's a lot faster now uh, these cards start dropping off a cliff much sooner and then they normally would and jace i mean saw some play at the pro tour it was one of the most dominating cards in standard it has some life in modern so it won't fall in my opinion below 20 dollars but right now he's at $28 TCG mids. Uh, the most you can get at a buy list is around $19. And you act now because that price will probably fall substantially. And overall, it's what happens to standard players and standard cards after they rotate. Um, Jace is not done plummeting yet. I mean, he could hit... I think he's definitely going to go under 25 TCG mids. Could he go under 20? Yes, I see that as a possibility. Um, not a, I'm not positive he'll go under 20, but it wouldn't surprise me. Nor would I predict that it goes under 20. But then again, you, know, you don't know because so much of this set has been printed when compared to an old set. I was reading an article uh, recently, I was talking about numbers and an evening tide, a common an evening tide is printed on par with a rare from Eldritch Moon. And that to me is just mind baff baffling uh, in terms of scarcity. So Jace, as well as other standard cards, get prepared for your cards to plummet in price if they've already not started plummeting uh, because that's what standard is. Um, it's a format that you can play for a little while, and then after that little while is over, um, you have to buy new cards, and your current collection collapses. Especially given ever since RTR rotated out, like you know, fed, you had the fetch lands and cons that was kind of good, but for the most part, cards, even very dominant cards like Thought Seas, they don't go up in price. They just kind of hover around what they rotated out at they take a tank they tank nosedive and then they just hover around where their lowest or very close to their lowest price point some of them even still continue to go down and that's the reality of modern magic the gathering is even if it does see some modern play in a recent set it's going to be really difficult for that price to uh, even stabilize so Jace is probably the prime example of a card that um, has, you know, it is a, it's a good example of all standard cards and what happens to them and how much percentage they lose because Jace was the strongest card in standard at one time and it sees modern play. So if anything, other cards that don't see modern play and were not that good with price memory and standard will plummet even more. Leave me a comment below what you guys think. Are you worried about your collections? Is this the first rotation you are going to experience? Um, is this something that uh, you think that Wizards of Coast could do a better job managing? Or do you feel like every single rotation we're just going to lose you know, 70%, 80% of our value for our cards? And that's just the way life is. Anyway, bye guys.